Read the Bible to find him. Read the Bible like your life depends on it because it does. We are talking about your soul. We are talking about eternal life. You cannot look at a person and say if they are saved. T.B. Joshua taught this. Because salvation is in the heart. So you cannot say, oh, I went to a church, I raised my hand, I served the church. It is about serving Jesus. It is not about giving your time to a church as much as giving your heart, your time, your everything to Jesus. Now see, as you fall in love with Jesus... And you want to know him more and more. And you're saying, and you you may be saying, I don't know how to get there. I'm going to tell you how. I'm going to tell you how I got there. I'm like, oh, I have nothing without you. And in you, I have everything. Lord, I want to know you more. I'm reading your word and I'm finding out that you want me to, that you're for me knowing you. You're not against me knowing you. You want me to know you. Lord, I'm asking in Jesus' name. I try to remember this every time I read the Bible. Lord, would you light these words up for me? Would you would you put these words in my heart? So I don't read the words just like word on a paper. I, I read the word as though I'm tucking into them. I'm like literally crawling into the passage, into the text. I'm putting myself in the heart of the text and I'm putting the text in my heart. And I'm saying, oh Lord, I want this to be more real to me than what I think about my life. I want your life to be more real to me than mine. I want your life to be more real to me than my life and what I want and what I don't want and my pet peeves and my preferences and my opinions. I want you, Jesus. I want you, Jesus. He wants us. And there is a real war on the Word of God. There is a real war against the faith. See, Paul was defending the true faith. So am I. Because I can look across and I listen to so many people talk. And I'm hearing a lot of people being influenced by the world. I'm, I'm hearing them being influenced by um, secular studies. I'm, I'm, I'm even hearing people being influenced by their own children. By their grandchildren. Being a Christian does not just mean going to church or just serving the church. Being a Christian means being in Christ and Christ being in you. Not only following what you think is Christianity, but following Christ himself. Having eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And I'm not talking about you trying to get a prophetic message for the church. I'm saying, what is he saying to you? See, the church is, oh, in the name of Jesus, the church is when he says, when Jesus came and gave a letter to his church, he wasn't saying, he who has eyes to see and ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church, get a prophetic word for the church. No, he was saying, I am talking to you. You don't love me like you used to. You have a reputation for being alive, but you were dead. And I'm going to say that much of the American church is the walking dead. They are walking around thinking they're Christians and they are dead because we are dead in our sins. Much of the church, they are only zombies. And the Lord has shown me in my dreams what it looks like. They're in these massive buildings and they are hooked up to a watery substance through an IV. That's what it looks like. There is no pure milk. There's no bread. There's no wine of the spirit. There's no oil. And so, in this little space, in my heart, in our little space, in our church building, in this little space on Instagram, what well, all I'm doing you, all I'm doing here is giving you what he's given me. I'm just giving to you what he's given to me. He has given me life. He has given me love. He has given me peace. He has given me joy. And I want you to have actual peace. I want you to have actual joy. I want you to have actual relationship with Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. I want you to be reconciled back to God the Father through Jesus Christ. I want you to know that you know that you know that you know that you know 
that you know him and that he knows you. When you're in Christ and Christ is in you, then you can truly say, I will not worry about anything. Instead, I will pray about everything. 